Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the debut of the Illinois Symphony Orchestra Sunday at Six concert series. I'm joined by our director of marketing, Beth Wakefield, and music director, Ken Lamb. And this is our first venture onto YouTube Live. So we're going to have a performance by our concert master, Roy Myers, this evening, as well as he may have a special guest join him and other treats. I'd like to thank our season sponsors, the Landmark Automotive Group and Dan and Deborah Brownstone for helping make these possible, as well as Roger and Mary Hunt, Steve and Ruthann Friedberg, um, who were sponsoring concerts at the end of the season that had to be canceled due to the pandemic we're facing. I'd also like to thank our media sponsors, the Illinois Times, Midwest Family Broadcasting, NPR Illinois, WGLT, WCBU, WILL, WNNS, and WSEC. I'd also like to thank the Illinois Symphony Orchestra staff for putting all of this together, and especially Beth Wakefield, who spent many hours getting through all of the technological issues to make this performance available to all of you. I also invite you to join us for our CODA Conversations with Roy, Ken, and myself at 6.45 on Zoom. You can ask questions to any one of us about the performance as well as about what's going on at the symphony. And then we will also have more performances on Sundays in June uh, through the end of June. So if you wanna get more information on those, go to ilsymphony.org. Now I'd like to turn it over to music director, Ken Lamb. All right, thank you, Trevor. Um, hi, everyone. It's uh, good to, uh, I guess, see virtually all of you here. I'm glad, uh, you know, we've lined up five Sundays worth of recitals for you. Um, now, performing tonight is Roy Meyer, concertmaster of the ISO since 2015. I met Roy for the first time during my audition concert uh, almost four seasons ago. And I remember thinking to, to myself, you know, here is a really fantastic violinist but also a real gentleman. And he has turned out to be a really great musical partner. You see, the concert master sets the tone of the entire orchestra. And Roy is one of the big reasons why the ISO is a happy orchestra and why so many musicians from all around want to come and play with us. So ladies and gentlemen, um, please welcome Roy Meyer. Thank you, Ken. I really appreciate that introduction. Um, it's great to be here. I really want to thank Ken, Trevor, and Beth, and everybody involved. They've done such a great job. This is such a unique uh, opportunity for me, uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a, a great few weeks preparing uh, of this concert for you tonight. I had been um, fairly stagnant for a while, so this really motivated me and gave me a reason to put something on. Uh, it's a fairly uh, brief uh, recital tonight. Um, I think everybody's attention spans have kind of changed a little bit. So I won't be playing any complete works of anything, um, but um, multiple movements from a, a few pieces and then a, a few uh, really pretty um, romances. Uh, the first piece I'm going to play is um, the uh, Sonata Number no. 1 in G minor by Bach the adagio and the fugue. Um, something about all of the events going on really bring me to the key of G minor. Um, most of my program is in G minor actually. And I just had the thought yesterday, um, what would Bach think about all of this? Um, here we are in a, in a pandemic, but his music is not only spread all across the, the world in the last few hundred years, but here we are being able to perform it uh, in my own apartment out to all sorts of people who are not, not even here. I, I think that's really neat and, and uh, something for the times. Anyway, it's really great to be here um, as it ought to be because it's my apartment, it's my home, it should be great. Um, I should have gotten a laugh track. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these first two movements of Bach, the Adagio and Fugue.
Thank you.
the next piece on tonight's program is um, a Sicilian Opus 78 by Foray. Uh, this was written for the play, the incidental music for a play, Peleus and Melisande, um, which really draws on themes of creation and destruction, which feels like something we might be uh, going through a little bit right now. Um, May 13th was um, Foray's birthday, and um, some of you may know I'm in a string quartet in uh, Door County, Green Bay, and we put out these videos um, individually of pieces by Foray for his birthday and his birthday week, and we played them with um, some accompaniment app. So this is one of the fun things we get to try out um, during this um, COVID season.
Hey, Ken. Hey. Hi, we're going to do a quick little Q&A so we can get Roy back up. We're having a little technical difficulties. We really appreciate everybody who's tuning in to enjoy this concert with us today. Um, we're working on getting a reboot. So. <laughs> so, Ken, what have you been doing during this quarantine time? Stay at home time. Um, I, I'm, I'm well. I'm, I'm uh, you know, studying a lot and... Uh, and she's just really actually just trying to oh, oh hang on yeah okay yeah no I, i'm i'm staying home i'm uh, you know trying to help the the organizations the orchestras i'm with with creating content for for people and 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 this is one of the initiatives and and as, as you can can tell you know all of us musicians have to basically uh learn new skills and sometimes, you know, like, you know, I've learned a lot of video editing skills and Roy and you, yourself, you know, we've been trying to put, put, put the, the, this, uh, the, 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 the te technology together. And um, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's um, you know, it's great that we have the technology so we can still provide music, but, it, you know, we can clearly see like it doesn't, change how we all love coming together. So we look forward to doing that. Um, I think Roy might have joined us again. So I'm gonna bring him on and um, see if we, how we do. Hi, Roy. Hey, can you see me again? We can see you, we can okay. hear you again. I, I think I got an emergency alert from the Chicago uh, Transit because they stopped running down, they stopped completely running tonight because of the protests. Oh. So I got an emergency oh, wow. alert. Okay, yeah. all right. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> no worries. Right yeah, it sounds really great. And um, we look forward to the rest of the concert. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start the foray again since you- Perfect, it sounded beautiful. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, my older brother is uh, seven years older than me, and he was working on this piece um, when I was, <laughs> thank you, well, when I was first born as an infant. It was one of the first pieces I ever heard. Um, it's from Suzuki book number five. It's the Vivaldi Concerto in G minor. Um, I'm told that I learned this piece really quickly because I had heard it so many times when I was an infant, um, which meant I didn't actually work on it very long. And it's a great piece, and I haven't really studied it or reviewed it since then, since I was about 11 years old or so. Um, and then I had the opportunity, because I'm not playing with any other people right now, uh, to record uh, the other parts to the concerto. So. I'll be playing uh, the solo part, I'll be playing the first violin part, the second violin part, the viola part, and the cello part for you. <laughs> this is the first movement and the third movement of the Vivaldi Concerto in G minor.
I'm very lucky to not be quarantined completely alone. Uh, I'm here with my girlfriend, uh, Maya, in Chicago. And say hi, Maya. And we are going to play two final pieces for you. Um, the first is the second movement from the Bach Double Concerto. Um, and most of the movement.
the last piece we have um, on our program tonight is a romance by Dvorak.
Thank you so, so much for having us. Uh, it's been a real honor, like I said. Thank you so much to Beth and Ken and everyone involved and Trevor and Chet who helped out the other day and all the board members who helped out uh, and for making this happen. It's, it's, I feel very fortunate. Yeah, thank you, Roy, for putting this together. We really appreciate the program and it was such a delight to see Maya join you on camera and to do a duet. And for all of you watching YouTube, we really appreciate you joining us. We look forward to seeing you next week for the Linden Duo. Um, and we hope that you join us in the Zoom room after the uh, performance to talk with Roy, our music director, and Trevor Orphan, our uh, executive director. But thank you so much, Roy. Thanks. See you in the Zoom room. <laughs>